Hey guys, welcome to this quick tutorial where we'll explain how you can install N8N on Ubuntu. So let's get started. First, connect to your VPS using SSH or the web console. The very first thing we need to do is update and upgrade our system packages. For that, use this command. This ensures your server has the latest updates and security patches. Now, there are two ways to install N8N, direct installation or containerized installation with Docker. Docker is usually preferred, but I'll explain both methods. Then, direct installation. If you don't want to use Docker, you can install N8N directly on Node.js. First, install Node.js and NPM. To do that, use this command to add the setup script, then use this command to install Node.js and NPM. Finally, use this command to verify that both were installed successfully. Then, containerized installation. If you prefer Docker, the first step is to install Docker itself. Start by installing the required dependencies. For that, use this command. Then, add Docker's official GPG key again, use this command. After that, add the Docker repository and install Docker by running this command. Finally, verify your installation by running this command. Setting up N8N. If you went with direct installation and have Node.js installed, you can install N8N globally. For that, use this command. To make sure N8N keeps running in the background, start a new screen session. To do this, use this command, then run N8N inside it. You can detach from the screen session with a key combination control plus A and D and reattach later with another command. By default, N8N will now be accessible at your server IP colon 5 678. If you went with Docker, first pull the latest N8N Docker image. For that, use this command. Next, run the container with port mapping by using this command. This will make N8N accessible at your server IP colon 5 678. Since data inside a Docker container isn't persistent by default, you'll need to mount a volume so your workflows don't disappear when the container restarts. Stop and remove your container, then run it again with a mounted volume by using this command. If you run into permission errors, fix them with a couple of commands that adjust permissions and then start your container again. Then configuring N8N. By default, N8N doesn't enforce authentication. This means anyone with access to your server IP could use it. To secure your installation, you'll need to set environment variables. If you installed N8N directly, you can export variables with this command. If you're using Docker, you can pass those variables into the container by using this command. Remember to replace the placeholder username, password, and domain with your own credentials. After that, enabling secure access. Now let's make N8N accessible over HTTPS. We'll do this by setting up Nginx as a reverse proxy and using a free SSL certificate from Let's Encrypt. First, install Nginx and Certbot by using this command. Enable and start Nginx with another command. Then, create a new Nginx configuration file for N8N. Inside this configuration, we'll forward all requests to localhost on port 5 e 678. Once done, save and enable the configuration file, then restart Nginx with this command. Next, generate a free SSL certificate for your domain. To do this, use this command. Since Let's Encrypt certificates expire every 90 days, we'll also set up automatic renewal. Open crontab with this command and add a cron job that renews the certificate and restarts Nginx automatically. At this point, you can open your browser and visit your domain using HTTPS. If the N8N interface loads without any SSL warnings, your installation is complete and fully secured. If you found this video helpful, consider giving it a like and subscribe.